friends welcome to instrumentation triple e tutorials and today we are talking about the temperature measurement where we have five questions which generally ask in any interview whenever you are going for any jobs so the five questions which are displaying here what type of instrument are used in major temperature and oil and gas industry or any power plant what are the temperature conversion formula and what the meaning of PT100 and PT1000 and also we will cover what are the working principle of thermocouple and what are the working principle of RTD. So these question and answer are generally asked in instrumentation interview. So whenever you are going for any interview or any if you are preparing for any exam then you should um, watch this video till the end so that your this uh, five question will be covered here. So now the first question is what type instrument are used to measure temperature in oil and gas industry. So generally thermocouple is used and it looks like this and also RTD resistant temperature detector it may be 2 wire, 3 wire and 4 wire and also some gauges temperature gauges are also used which is generally why metallic temperature types of used and some optical pyrometer is also also used whenever there are uh, some temperature is major uh, beyond 1300 degree or some safety is required and where thermocouple and RTD cannot be used so pyrometer is generally used and there are also some thermometer is also used so, so these five types of temperature measurement instruments are generally used now the second question is what are the temperature conversion formula so you have heard about the there are four temperature scale Fahrenheit and Celsius and Kelvin and Rankin so these four generally temperature scale so when you are going to convert Fahrenheit degree centigrade to Fahrenheit so Fahrenheit is equal to 9 y 5 into degree plus 32 so when you have given the degree temperature in degree then you can convert this degree into Fahrenheit so first formula that you should note in your copy now the second formula is your if you have given the Fahrenheit then you want to convert this scale or this temperature into Celsius scale so Celsius scale is equal to F minus 32 and into 5 by 9 so what the value of your temperature in given in Fahrenheit scale you can easily convert in Celsius or degree so this is second formula now the third formula is when you have given the uh, scale or temperature in Celsius then you want to convert in Kelvin so Kelvin is equal to C plus 273.15 so when the temperature is given in Celsius or degree then you can convert into Kelvin and 4 one is very important but it is rarely used when you have given the temperature in Fahrenheit and you want to convert it into Rankin so this is the four formula so you can learn this formula you can learn this formula and you can learn this formula and this so this these four formula will always work for you whenever you have given your temperature scale in different different units so this is second questions now the third one is what is the meaning of the PT100 and PT1000 so simply PT100 means what is the PT100 PT100 means when the temperature is 0 degree temperature is 0 degree then your temperature your resistance of the RTD so generally the PT100 and PT1000 is a types of RTD this is the types of RTD resistant temperature detector so when temperature 
is 0 degree then your RTD resistance RTT resistance will be 100 ohm so this is the meaning of PT 100 whenever your temperature is 0 degree then your resistance of RTD will be 100 ohm now what is the meaning of PT 1000 similar way whenever your temperature is 0 degree then the resistance of your RTD would be 1000 ohm so this is the simple meaning of PT 100 and PT 1000 now the third question is what is the working principle of thermocouple so this is very important and uh, uh, actually when you talk about the definition of thermocouple so it is a device which has two dissimilar metal so metal first metal one metal two so this is the metal one metal two and this is two junction j1 and j2 so this is called hot junction and this is called cold junction so what its principle says and how it works what is the principle of thermocouple so it has two junction j1 hot junction and j2 is cool junction so whenever the temperature difference is experienced with these two metals then it generate emf it generate a emf when some voltmeter or some electrical parameter measurement device is connected through this cable so whenever uh, two dissimilar metal is connected like this way and if the temperature gradient is present between these two metal then at another junction the voltage or millivolt is generated based on three principle first is Seebeck effect Peltier effect and Thomson effect so if you have not heard about the Seebeck Peltier and Thomson effect you can learn through internet so this is all about the thermocouple and also the thermocouple are K type T type R type etc based on your application you can select any one of them so now the last question is what are the working principle of RTD so RT is temp resistant temperature detector whenever the metal resistance of metal increase or decrease with respect to temperature so the basic principle of RTT is whenever the metal temperature is increased then its resistance will be also increased so this is the basic principle of RTT so the formula of RTG is R0 1 plus alpha delta T so this is formula and what is the meaning of all terms R is the resistant where we want to measure R0 is the if you are using PT 100 then R0 is equal to 100 alpha is equal to temperature coefficient and it is generally for platinum ohm per degree okay and the alpha will be different for copper and some other metal so this is the principle of the rtd and how it works whenever the temperature of the metal is uh, changed then its resistance is also changed so uh, there are three types of rtd are generally used first is two wire second is three wire and third is four wire so when uh, in your interview simply 
if you have asked there what is the uh, principle of rtd then you can call this formula and you can also call the metal properties and types of the rtd not other things required to uh, say in a, your interview so this is our five question which we have covered here if you are new on our youtube channel please like subscribe and if you want to some other information related to, to instrumentation or automation industry then please comment and if you are new please subscribe channel and thank you very much for watching this video till the end